Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about the median in statistics. So the median is a measure of essential tendency, that's like the mean. But whereas the mean is affected by outliers in a distribution, the median is less sensitive to that because it only uses the middle data to make the calculation. Okay, so cal to calculate a median, you have to order the data set from smallest to largest. If the values of are odd, the median is just the middle number. If the number of values is even, you have to take the average of the two middle numbers. Okay, so when looking at when I'm after I learn how to control my computer. Okay, so when looking at these numbers, so the first thing you do is arrange them from smallest to largest. Or I guess you could do largest to smallest. It really doesn't matter at all, as long as they're ordered. So, order them. Probably smallest to largest, because people would think you're odd if you did it the other way. And then, the median is the middle number. So, when it's odd, and you have an actual middle number, it's just that number, so 80. When there's an even number of values, you can't do that. You have to, once again, order them. So, order it, and then you take the two middle numbers, and you can either think of it as adding them together or and dividing by two, or take the mean of them. That's what you're doing. You're adding two numbers together and dividing them by the number of numbers you added together, which is the mean. Either way, you get a median that is in between those two middle numbers. Okay, so the median is often used when the mean doesn't really reflect the data that well. If you watch my mean video, you'd, you'd hear me rambling about bimodal distributions and how if your distributions are bimodal or, or significantly skewed, you end up with a mean that doesn't really reflect the data. And I guess in the bimodal sense, the median still doesn't help because if we have both our numbers at 60 and both of them at 100, it's very possible that we get a median of 80 even though most of our data isn't around 80. What it does help is skewed data. When you have extreme values, in the tail of the distribution. So, or, or you could say outliers. It maybe it'd be better to call them outliers. If you have outliers in your data, then a median may be a better reflection of the the middle point of your data set than mean. If the mean is heavily impacted by outliers using all the data, where the, the median does not use all the data, it only uses the data point that's in the middle, or the two data points that are in the middle if you have an even number of values. So in conclusion, you order your data, you find the number that's in the middle, and a lot of things I thought, yeah, I was moving the thing. Okay, so you order the data set, find the number in the middle, and that's your median. If you have two numbers in the middle, your median is the average of those two points. The median is more appropriate when you have significant outliers. If you did not have a reason to use the median, I'd use the mean because the mean uses all of the data and that has better properties for estimation. Most of the time you'll report a mean over a median unless you have a good reason to use a median. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.